I had a very successful career in, in banking, extremely successful by the world standards. I was managing $10 billion and I was working with some of the top companies in the world. I had come to the pinnacle of worldly success. I was also tired, I was stressed, I was empty, I was a mediocre Christian. My children were growing up before my eyes and as I found myself on first base, I also found my wife who was lonely and unfulfilled. And um, God has a funny way of, of reshaping the trajectory of your life. And so I had a, a skiing accident um, and that really took me out of the game for a while. I spent two months in recovery. God told me, Mike, the clock is ticking. You will die someday and I can take it all like that. And really had an opportunity that most people don't get where um, I got to see my life outside of it. Uh, and I really saw what I was missing uh, with my family. And so I decided to, uh, I decided to retire. And God came calling and, and had other plans. Our twins were young and to retire that early was not a great example for them because God says you work till the day you die. So, um, which we might very well be doing. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, I think God wants us to start a company. We had always talked about working together and he wants us to make him the business partner to do something significant. And uh, really felt uh, the call to start a company and do something different with my life that, uh, that had a lot of meaning for things that, uh, that we really care about. And um, that's really where Frontier Justice was born. If we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. We had really come to enjoy being able to give back to the community and give to causes we felt strongly about that had to do with faith, family, and freedom. And to make our lives mean something, to make a difference. I've been involved in, with firearms my entire life. Uh, very passionate hunter, uh, very passionate about Second Amendment rights. And we believe that really the only thing that keeps us free uh, is the firearm. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. We saw a hole in the marketplace where we could bring a unique concept to market uh, that would restore uh, kind of the, the belief in firearms, but the, the family aspects of firearms, hunting, shooting sports, things of that nature. That's where faith, family, and freedom was born. Faith is being able to give back and we donated 10% of the company to the National Christian Foundation and our hope is to build a lot of kingdom resources for community good through a chain of Frontier Justice stores. And then family for us is making an environment where an entire family feels welcome to come. And then the freedom, the firearm, as Mike said. And we also wanted to have a hint of the West where you tamed the frontier, where you took a rifle and you went out and you, you had to have that rifle to, to live off of that kind of feeling that evokes the freedom uh, in our heritage as a country that we all think about. It's everything that we're about. You know, we all kind of have a little bit of a call to the West, don't we? When people lived on farms and they lived in rural environments, the grandfather, the father, they would teach their children how to shoot. It was just a common practice. The mystery was gone. The fear was gone because they had an education around firearms early, but that's not been passed down from generation to generation because people don't have a nice place to go to shoot. There's a mystery sometimes with it. There's a, a fear or apprehension of what is this tool, uh, and that's all it is, is a tool. And we want to educate people, and we want them to understand the responsibilities of firearms ownership. Uh, but we also want them to have the fun of it, to, to enjoy it. In comes Frontier Justice, creating this family atmosphere where that skill set can be passed down again. And we have a lot of people who float in who say, well, my grandpa took me shooting once, but I haven't picked up a firearm since then. Where do I start? That's our perfect customer. That's our perfect client because that's exactly who we cater to. 
we wanted to bring a different service model where we had experts, uh, where we have clients, not customers, and um, that was really important to us as well. Well, it's really a biblical principle that we're, we're all equal in this. We're all in it together, and if we treated each other with that same respect all the time, wouldn't the world be a better place? So we want that to start in our, in our store and with our people and our company and with our teams. Family is our middle name, and family starts with our employees. And we try to make an atmosphere where we are a family. They also take seriously the, the expertise and the responsibility to be the experts in the firearms profession. And that's important because a lot of people are coming to us for education, for training, uh, for knowledge about products. We have to be the experts. One of the true blessings of this entire path are the people that we've met, not only the clients who walk through the door, but our employees are awesome. And I think that translates to the client because they feel that camaraderie and that family atmosphere, and it just lends to the welcoming that we have for them, and they feel included in that. There are couples who come in every day who shoot together, and we have veterans who come in and shoot in groups on um, Thursday together and hang out and drink coffee, and the whole environment becomes our Frontier Justice family. I knew we'd done it right when we had a customer who passed away, and his family approached us about having the funeral and memorial service at Frontier Justice. <laughs> I mean, when, when does that ever happen with anybody else? They were not going to have a, a service anywhere else. The actual service was at Frontier Justice. That is when we know we've created a family. When you're having someone's celebration of life at your facility, in a retail facility, that just doesn't happen. You've made a difference to somebody. On you depend the fortunes of America. You are to decide the important question upon which rests the happiness and the liberty of millions yet unborn. Act worthy of yourselves. It's never about money. It's always about making a difference. So I think every day of my life, I try to think in the morning when I get up, how will I make a difference today? I've been on my knees more now in the last eight months than I have in 45 years. I'm a better husband, I'm a better daddy. I'm a better Mike Brown than I ever have been. It is time for us to realize that we're too great a nation to limit ourselves to small dreams. It doesn't matter what we're selling, but it's faith, family, and freedom that we're about. And we want to take that and we want that to spread. We want the idea of be proud to be an American. Be proud of your family. Be proud of your faith. Don't be afraid to stand for something. It does require, however, our best effort and our willingness to believe in ourselves and to believe in our capacity to perform great deeds, to believe that together, with God's help, we can and will resolve the problems which now confront us. And after all, why shouldn't we believe that? We are Americans.